The aliens is approximately four and a half to five feet tall. The United States don't talk about this, but I know the is around 230 years old. And we have at least 18 that I know exist and operate within a facility. And I asked how they communicate, and he said, they are able to use you on voice like telepathy to talk to you. And all of a sudden you'll find yourself doing the answer to your question in your own voice. And this is the alien hand noticed that the fingers are longer than ours, about 30% about longer. longer. We did discuss the fact that there were bodies. Extraterrestrial. Uh, extraterrestrial bodies, yes. The creatures were about uh, four foot. Some of the creatures were, were, were uh, uh, mangled, uh, were heavily uh, injured, and their bodies were, were torn apart. There were four uh, aliens aboard that thing, and those aliens went to Los Alamos. And we were told that the extraterrestrial went to Kirtland Field, Kirtland Air Force Base, and then on to Los Alamos. Two pathologists said there wasn't anything in the, in the anatomy books, there wasn't anything in what our medical schools. They had never seen anything like this. First I thought it was a, a child, because it was small. Then I looked at this head and all. The head was different, the arms were spindly, the body it was gray. But the creatures were uh, approximately four foot. They had uh, didn't appear to have any ears. They only had two orifices. They didn't have ear lobes, they had two ear canals. They had indentation for the nose, very, very big eyes. The large eyes. The fingers had no thumbs, just four, four fingers. Suction devices on their tips of their fingers. You know, the four fragile fingers and the long arm, real short joint. Almost looked like they were uh, nude, but they actually uh, had a very thin but tight-fitting suit on. 